getting warm out, it may seem like the perfect time to have a bonfire with family and friends or maybe burn some of that brush as you're cleaning up your yard. But much of the state has a high risk for fire right now. Look at the aftermath there of a grass fire that happened in the town of Brooklyn a few hours ago. Photojournalist Kurt Lenz on scene says it appears about an acre of land was charred there. That fire is now out. And we could be seeing more of these in the coming weeks. NBC 15's Lindsey Branwall is here to explain why. Lindsey? Yeah, John, at 22 counties right now have burn restrictions with very high risk for fires. The problem all started with our less than average snowfall this year. And it may be a while till we catch up. It was a fire from yesterday, and uh, uh, an ember flew this morning into some grass, and it spread. Uh... Today, the Columbia County Foresters already put out one forest fire, and so far, 19 this year. 100 acres burned. Um, those are all, like I said, forest fires since the snow left just a week or two ago. Speaking of snow. We're 15 inches as of today behind on what we should be for the season with really no hope of catching up. Which may not seem like a problem in the winter. A lot of people don't really think of during the, the late winter to early spring months because things tend to be a little bit muddy. But the only reason they're muddy is because there's still frost. But it becomes a problem on days like today. It's kind of that worst case scenario. We've got all that dead vegetation that's ready to burn. So we've got all those coming together. Very strong winds, um, so it's a, 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 there's a lot of fire potential today. No burnings allowed without a DNR permit because of the high likelihood one little spark could cause a forest fire. People are always surprised. An ember will stay burning or alive for a long time and then cause a forest fire later. If you have that fire pit full and ready to burn, it may be a while till you're in the clear. It does look like it is going to be quite dry around here, not only in the short term, but also in the longer range into the first part of summer. By state statutes in Wisconsin, when you light the fire, you're responsible. So um, I guess I'd like to remind folks of that too. You know, if, if you light a fire, you're responsible for all suppression costs. We do want to mention that there have already been three brush fires in Dane County just today. And like we mentioned, you can burn with a DNR permit. They are free. And if you'd like to apply for one, we have the link on our website, NBC15.com. Just click on News Links at the top of the page.